Hey, Turtle Nerds! Uh, welcome to a little update video on one of the worst things that's happened to me ever. And while I do this, I figured I would show off of the critters that I have here that are alive, happy, breathing, that I'm so thankful for. Uh, feed them a little bit while we discuss this. So, I have an update on the situation of when half my critters got killed. Um, basically, I thought that it was my job to warn slash educate slash just tell people about exactly what happened because the, the parasite thing never sat perfectly with me. And a lot of the experts that I talked to, a lot of my friends were like, parasites are rough, but they're usually not the, uh, they could be a symptom, but they're usually not going to knock them out. Um, and so after that whole pond was wiped out over at my friend's house, for you guys who don't know the situation, uh, like half of my turtles died. I put them on loan because I was in a, you know, crazy housing situation and they had gotten a fungus. I fixed them up. I didn't have space for them over the winter indoors at all. I was in a really, really tight spot. So I sent them to a friend of mine to um, watch them, to, you know, loan them out. There are bugs all around me. Anyways, um, so half of all of those animals that I sent to him, except for one, that was kept inside died uh, out in, in that pond. And so the vet had said it was from flukes, which are a parasite that got in to their system somehow. We deduced it was from snails, but that wasn't the case um, because my friend, his animals inside started exhibiting the same symptoms. Parasites don't just move from outside to inside without there being some way that in which that happened. You know, he didn't cross-contaminate. So how does that even happen? Had to have been airborne or water droplets or whatever. Parasites don't, or usually don't, transfer just by, like, water droplets. Regardless. It was fishy. Something was up. So we sent samples to some more experts um, to get other opinions and whatnot. And some... I think it's PCB testing. I should check my phone. I should actually know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but you guys get it. The specifics. I'm no doctor. Um, so the PCR test. The PCR test um, came back. These bugs are in my eyes. Why are they doing that? So it, it was just a parasite wiping them out. It didn't sit right. So got the PCR test. And as of the day before yesterday, um, it was confirmed because the, so the last animal that I have, so there was four of them that passed away and then I sent him five. So the last one, Miss uh, Yoda, who already had a brush with death um, when she got a really bad respiratory infection, $1,000 at the vet in ICU care. Um, you know, slowly I worked with her for two months to get her back to normal, um, injecting antibiotics in one arm and fluids in the other a couple cc's of fluid that took a long time to nurse her back to health so she's been through it shell rot had to fix that that she got as well so she's been through the ringer fixed her up he said that she, she was in the same tub as two of the others that passed away that got the virus exhibited the symptoms and passed away all right y'all still hungry feed a little extra so so, um, where was I? She was exhibiting the symptoms, so I'm just waiting for the text. You know, here she is, she passed away. She got sick, and then she started eating again. And then she kind of got sick, and then she started eating again. I was like, okay, this is weird. Um, so the PCR test came back on some euthanized animals that were on you know, the brink of death that my friend had to make the very, very difficult decision. And he, I don't blame him. This is, talk about a freak accident. Freak. We're now trying to find out where it came from, but a bird can just poop in the pond and that's it. it spreads to them, then that spreads to the others, whatever. Or it mutates or whatever it may be. Or it was from the snails or it was from the flukes themselves. We don't know yet. The point is, um, it was a virus. It's a little funny, but it's not funny. I try to find humor in things. It was herpes. It was a herpes virus, um, which is haha -ha funny. The turtles kissed each other in middle school and got herpes. 
Um, no, it's it's actually a well known that this happens in wild populations a lot. This herpes virus. Um, I don't know. It's some crazy strain that just rips through the turtles, and so Yoda is weirdly in a weird limbo, eating not a hundred percent, but weird. And so I thought maybe she's just a carrier, because that's what happens. The the virus's goal is not to kill; it's to spread, and that's exactly the case. So she has it. She's a carrier, and there is no cure. There are things to do for the symptoms. But she will forever be a carrier. That means that she can't come in this pond because she'll infect them all. And it will, odds are, out of the 10, 12 animals that died, only one is still alive being a carrier. would probably wipe all these animals out. Um, so I don't know what to do with her. We still have to figure that out. Uh, whether or not she should be euthanized or to stop it from spreading or let her live out the rest of her life. I don't even... The problem is, it's it's the hot zone. Y'all ever read the hot zone? Or, you know, virus-based stuff? She's contaminated. She should not go near any other animals. She should not go near anything at all. Quarantined and, like, stay. So we gotta figure that out now. Um, and... It was a herpes virus. Apparently it's common. Let me read you a little bit of information that I have. Um... Confirmed herpes virus, no cure. AC clover can help with symptoms. That's A C Y C L O V I R. Typically seen in Chrysemes, which is painted turtles. Pretty sure. Yeah. Please don't splash me, blueberry. Trachomes, uh, that's your sliders. And Graptomes, which are your map turtles. But um, there's a lot of weird stuff also going on. You guys. They've begun, like, legitimately splashing me. Anyways, uh, trying, to, trying to make light. Trying to just be... I'm thankful. I'm just thankful for... I still have Flipper, Bean, Pancake. The th their three babies. Like, very thankful for the ones that I have. Um, so, symptoms are treatable. But the virus, there's no cure as of yet. Um, they just... I, I don't know modern medicine, but I guess it's not a focus. Um, and I just worry that it's going around, or it could go around, and it could spread. So that's just why I, there's nothing there's nothing you can realistically do to prevent it until we identify where it came from exactly. But like I said, freak accident, they get it, you know, they can get it in the wild. Quarantine your animals and be safe with where you're getting them from. Um, right now I'm on lockdown. I'm not getting any more animals anytime in the near future. I just got one, um, but I'll talk more about that. That's for a very fun video, which I'm looking forward to. You guys are splashing me right in the eye. They know just how to do that. Um, I don't know. I just thought that it was my duty to uh, update you guys on exactly what it was that took them out. They probably did have flukes, because that's the thing. Turtles live with parasites and all kinds of things in the wild without issue. Mine might have them. They lived in a pond for a while. Uh, you know, usually they don't wipe them out. Clearly, towards the end, because they were so weakened by the virus, um, I don't think that was the cause of death still. But um, regardless, what are you doing, Bean? You crazy? Regardless, I thought that it was just important for me to warn you guys, just in case. I hope this does not happen to anyone else. We'll see uh, what happens. If there's any other updates, I'll let you guys know. But as far as how to pre prevent this from happening to your critters, don't get any. <laughs> Except for, like, maybe hatchlings, if that. And even then, I'd, I don't know. I don't know. This is not legal advice this is not no disclaimer don't listen to me but i don't know i'm just going on lockdown for now um and uh i don't know that's the problem i don't know i just thought it was my job to update you guys it was a virus it is uncurable the symptoms are treatable but once an animal is infected they're forever a carrier and it wipes them out quickly 
So just be careful, be cautious, uh, make sure your critters are healthy if you're going to get any, and um, that's it. I wish there was better news. I wish that I had actions and steps that you guys can take to, for certain, protect your animals, but I just don't have that. Um, the best I can do is say quarantine any new critters you get and be thankful for the ones that you have, um, which I... This whole thing put a lot into perspective and has changed my mindset on a lot of things um, as far as these critters go. So we'll get into that another time. But that's it. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support. For the three people that said that I deserve for this to happen. Kick rocks. Uh, and um, yeah, nothing's stopping me. Nothing will stop me from protecting and conserving this species and doing everything I can for them. I just will not stop. No one, nothing will stop me. No virus, no person, no peoples, no entity, no extraterrestrial, extraterrestrials maybe. If aliens are real, like, I don't know, maybe I'll give up turtle keeping for a bit. But until then, which might not be far in the future, we're getting off topic. Regardless, I'm trying to be, trying to humor, okay? It's called coping. Be safe. Thank you for watching. I hope you're educated. Please ask your questions if you have them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Thank you to my friends who have helped me through all of this uh, and the collective brain set that we've tried to figure out exactly what was going on. Um, thank you to my friend for doing his best for my animals because I know he did. I don't blame him one bit. It's, talk about a freak accident. It's okay. I feel worse for him. Almost. I'm going to rainbow if I don't shut up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And I'll see y'all in the next one.